Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Akayami. And for the month of December 2023 only, I'm going to be giving away things. You don't have to purchase anything or none of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to give it away. Why? Because I spent a whole lot of money buying a whole lot of things because I thought that I needed them for camping or traveling or exploring. And yeah, I don't. Some things I have already sold on eBay, but I'm not selling anything here. I'm just wanting to give it away. I just feel generous this month. So the only way to find out what that giveaway is, is to watch the videos for the month of December. And hopefully you will be the one that will get that giveaway. And maybe it's not something that you want for yourself. Maybe it's something that you want to give to somebody else. If that's the case, that's great. But you got to watch all the way through. Get to watching and see what it is that I'm giving away in this video. Hello, hello, everyone. Today is December the 1st, and I am going to attempt to vlog every day for the month of December. It is a special day, not just because it's December the 1st, but it's because it's my baby boy's birthday today. Yes, and so I can't wait to you know, talk with him today and sing him our special birthday song. But yes, if you're new to my channel, by the way, my name is Akayami and I am an explorer and I just do different types of explorations, whether it's hiking, camping, traveling internationally, internationally or within the States. And if you are interested in just kind of seeing where I'm going and what I'm doing, I would love for you to subscribe. I would. Yes, I would. And put the notifications on so you know when I post a new video. I'm going to vlog every day, but I don't know if I'm going to post the video every day. I might just do a collection one week and then put it up that way. I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Ha Have you ever thought about actually testing out the things that you buy for car camping and van life? first before you actually start van life or start camp car camping well i just <laughs> decided that i want to start seeing how often i use the things that i finally you know purchased on amazon and the things that i haven't used out car camping yet i want to start seeing what it would be like to actually use all of these things at home when i'm not going camping so I challenge anyone that is watching this video to go through all of your stuff and just see if, if it's not something that you would use at home, why get it in the first place? I, I purchased um, some items for camping, car camping, that I can't see myself ever using. Try using the things that you already have and then maybe giving away or selling the things that you know you are not going to touch this microphone right here i got this great big old microphone over here that i don't use well i can't say that i use it on occasion but the reality of it is it has a a wire attached to it so this does not and so i'm going to if i'm using this more often than this then I'm going to sell this. I'm going to get rid of this because what's the point of having two microphones? Whichever one works the best, that's the one I'm going to use. I don't sit around holding this big old microphone. <laughs> so this is my camping lamp that I use when I'm out car camping. And before I decided to turn on the electricity in the house, I mean, in my space, I decided that I was going to see how well I like this light because of course it will light up the car. I do have it backwards, but um, this little light, this little lamp rather is so convenient. And so it has this little button right here and I can turn it off and then turn on that one. Oh, that's the one I love. It just gives a good vibe in the room. <laughs> it's pretty dreary outside today getting my water for my coffee so this is my little kettle and this kettle is cool the only thing about it is that it takes 20 minutes to get the water boiling and then it will shut itself off
so I'll use the arrow press for my coffee and I'm just getting things ready because my hasn't boiled yet and it actually has about five minutes before it starts to boil um, but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready for making my coffee you put a little filter in here and you screw that on the bottom so this is the plunger and these are the coffee Keurigs that I use. And I will just pour the contents of these in here. I use um, ginger liquid stevia. This is the Trader Joe's brand. And pumpkin spice. And my coffee mate. Most of the time I don't put any creamer, but um, I, now I put some in because I just want a certain taste. And this is the coconut cream brand. Good morning. I know it's crazy, but I know people are going to do it. Some people are going to find another way to figure out what the giveaway is for today and not watch the whole video. So because of that, I am going to be, what's the word that I'm using? I'm going to be a little bit more intentional about how I put in the the giveaway in each video so today I'm going to read the question of the day and when I read the question of the day you have to answer it in the video and from this point on I am NOT going to say question of the day I'm just going to ask a question <laughs> and that way if you understand what's going on you will be able to you know figure it out and and get what it is that I'm giving away and this day the giveaway is going to be a PIVO this is a PIVO and it is R1 it has the remote to it and the actual device. Now, I bought this because I liked having um, the ability to move all around and let this thing follow me, and it works perfectly fine. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with it at all. It's just that I don't use it. I had a feeling for it before, and now I don't anymore. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> so this is what I'm giving away, a PIVO. And I will box this up nice and pretty, put it in the gift box. So in case you want to give it to somebody, it'll be all ready for that. So this is the PIVO R1, and I'm going to give this away. The question of the day, make a prediction today about your life next year. Put that in the comments. There's a reason why I'm even testing out all of my products and things that I use for camping and um, what I'm going to possibly be using if I start traveling in a van, SUV or whatever. I want to see what is the best way to um, store and utilize all these in small spaces. So there is an office space within my space within our home and I am going to test this out for myself in my office space and I just want to see what will I utilize in this space is what I will utilize in a space of a van over in this area in this part of my space is this great big old window and it is usually either really hot or really cold. Time to 
get into my YouTube videos and clean up this space after making this coffee. So if you've seen any of my other videos before, I'm working out of this trunk. And so by the time that I finish doing all of this, this trunk will only, only um, have the things in it that I absolutely will utilize all the time because I may rent a vehicle. And if I'm going to rent a vehicle, I just want to grab one trunk and maybe a backpack for and then like smaller things to use so the less that i have to take or transfer from my car to another vehicle that i'm going to travel in the better so i'm gonna get this thing down to a science you hear me So I got this electric blanket and it's Trillium Worldwide Inc. It's Car Cozy 2 and it has um, 30 minutes and 45 minutes timer on it. And I really want to see if this is something that I'm going to take back or send back um, because it looks like it was used um and that bothers me when it's something that has to do with fabric or whatever i think that i would prefer well not i think i know i prefer brand new i don't see how that would work if the cord is not detachable so yeah this is going back I do want to see how well it heats though. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up in my Blue Eddy. This is pulling 52 watts. It has 30 minutes on it or 45 minutes. I'm going to put it on 40, 30 minutes and just see how it is. Um, because at least I want to know if this is even worth it to just tell other people about it. But I don't like that it was used. So this is a no-go. This is definitely a no-go. It is, it is, I don't, it's, there are some warm spots, really small area, and the rest of the blanket doesn't get warm at all. I should have known better when it came in this this is not even the original packaging i got a single burner hot plate and i got this from one of those general dollar stores and i want to be able to of course cook without it being gas i have no intent on plugging this into my blue eddy because it's a thousand watts and my Blue Eddy only has a capacity of 600 watts. What I'm going to do is make sure that I purchase a 25 foot extension cord so I could plug this into a campsite that has electric. Now, here's the reality. I have no intent on camping anywhere where I don't have access to electricity or water to use this. Um, if there's places where I go that doesn't have that, then the food that I'm gonna be eating won't call for me to cook. It'll be something that I take out or something that I could use my pot by, that I can plug into my Blue Eddy or something that I could use to heat up in my aorta, aorta. And so it's okay for me because the cooking that I'm gonna be doing is not extensive. It's never gonna be extensive when I go camping. <laughs> so, or traveling in, in the van because I don't want to draw a whole lot of attention to the van 
for critters or anything like that. So I'm not gonna be doing a whole bunch of indoor or in vehicle cooking. So yes, this will be for the use of campsites that have electricity that I could use my extension cord to plug into, right? So what I'm gonna do today is plug this into my um, surge protector and that way I can cook, but I do want to see how well it works before I take this out with me. So far, I have never cooked in the vehicle before. I've cooked outside of the vehicle, so this is a first, and y'all get to witness this. So I opened up the window because just make sure that no, I don't set off any alarms in here. I've never cooked in my space before either. <laughs> so I could really just go downstairs in the kitchen and do it there, but we gonna see how this thing works because I have to think that this might be inside of a vehicle, right? All right, so let me stop rambling. I am only doing a test of this. So the only thing that I'm getting ready to put in this pan is um, butter and I'm going to toast my bread because um, I is smoking which is I'm glad I'm which is why I'm glad <laughs> I put it put the window open so I guess it has to burn off whatever has to burn off So I, it's on low, it's on a very low setting. And um, since I don't have a toaster, I want to make toast. And I noticed that this is a little unbalanced. I did get it from the dollar store, so, but let's see if we can still do well with this. So. And that's just everything but the bagel. Simple ingredients. But dang, if this ain't delicious. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my lunch. And I will upload this video. And anybody that answers the question that I ask for the giveaway, I will put your name in a drawing. And then whoever wins, I'll send the gift to you. Until the next time, everyone. Good mental health, good spiritual health, and as always, good physical health. Y'all take great care.